Hey guys, I'm Mr. Post, and on today's lesson, we're going to check out dimensional analysis and use dimensional analysis to solve mole conversion problems. In our first example, we're looking at 29 liters of helium, and I want to find out how many atoms are present in that. Okay, so let's start out the problem by writing the givens down. The givens are going to be 29 liters of helium, and I'm going to write that over here, 29 liters of helium. And I also want to write down the other given. The other given is where I'm going to, atoms. So I want to express my answer in the number of atoms of helium. Okay, in between here, I'm going to put conversion factors. The conversion factors are going to be these conversion factors at the bottom. And really, this problem is going to be pretty straightforward for us. The first conversion factor needs to have liters in it. Okay, the problem starts out in liters, and I need to cancel out with liters of helium. So down here, it's really just a matching point at this game. Helium is 22.4 liters in one mole. So whenever I choose 22.4, I'm also going to choose this. It has to go on the other part of my fraction. So one mole of helium has 22.4 liters. Excellent. I'm just going to go ahead now and solve the next one here. The next conversion factor, whatever I do, I know this. If mole is on top, I need to cancel out mole on the bottom. And I know that because the answer needs to be expressed in atoms. And I am not here yet. Okay, so I've already used this one up. I have two more conversion factors to use. Because the answer needs to be expressed in atoms, I'm going to look for that word down here, and I see it right here. So now I know I need to use 6.02 times 10 to 23rd. And that's atoms. And the number that is joined to that on the other side of my fraction will be one mole. Okay, let's check out what we've got here so far. Liters was canceled out with the unit liters. They always need to cancel out in this direction, going diagonally downward. I have the unit mole, I need to get rid of it, so I divide by it to cancel it out. So moles cancel out with moles, and the problem ends for me when the unit that I um, have in my answer is expressed on the top over here. That's when I know I stop. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and solve the problem, and the problem is going to be 29 times 1 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And I'm going to divide that number by 22.4 and also 1. Now, I'm just going to bring a little word of caution to this, okay? I'm going to write this number down here. When you express this in your answer, or when you put it into the calculator, you need to put in a 6, a decimal point, a 0, a 2, and this is where you got to be careful. You're not going to press times 10. You're going to look for a button that says EE. -E. There might be a button that says EXP. And I've also recently seen a button on newer calculators, x times 10 to a number. Okay, You're going to do 6.02, one of these three buttons, and then the exponent, 23. And that exponent comes from that right there. Okay, It's very careful. In order to get the correct answer and match my answer, you need to put your equations in in this way. Sometimes even, when you do press it in this way, I have seen on more modern calculators, you have a needed to put a parentheses around this. The order of operations is achieved. I'm going to go ahead and calculate this answer. Please practice, actually, press pause, practice calculating this answer to make sure you have the same answer as me. All right, guys, when I calculate the answer, this is what I get down here. I get this guy. 7.79375 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. That's what the calculator gives me. Calculator is not always correct, though. All right. In our problem, the initial answer had two, the initial given had two significant figures. My answer can only have as many significant figures that are expressed in the given. So I round this off to two significant figures. The 9 rounds a 7 to an 8, and what I end up with now as my answer is 7.8 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Okay, let's move on to the next example here. In our next example, we have 49 grams of carbon dioxide, and I want to find out how many liters of gas is that equivalent to. Okay, so how many liters of gas will 49 grams of carbon dioxide occupy? And this all goes down at standard temperature and pressure. Okay, temperature and pressure for SDP. What I want you to do, guys, press pause. Please work it out. Solve the whole problem. 
let me come back and double check your answers to mine. Okay, step one. Let's go over step one. Step one is to write the givens. 49 grams of CO2. And I'm just going to go ahead right away, guys, and write down, I need to see grams of CO2 on the bottom. It just it, it has to flow that way. I need to get ready grams. So I'm just going to write that down there. I know the problem needs to end in this other given here, which is liters. we got liters of CO2. And likewise, I'm also going to say liters of CO2 has to be present on the very last line because it cannot be canceled out. And at this point, I'm going to look down at the bottom conversion factors to make sure I can find those two units. Really what I'm looking for is grams, and I'm also looking for liters. Let's do it. Let's get the grams. Okay, The grams comes from right here, the atomic mass from the periodic table in grams. Well, here's the thing. This is CO2. Carbon has a mass of 12.0. Okay, Oxygen has a mass of 16, but it's CO2. So oxygen needs to be counted twice. Okay, 16 plus 16 gives me 32, and 12 more gives me 44 grams in one mole of CO2. Now, I included one mole because I do have to include the other side of what is equal to that. So 44 grams of CO2 is equal to one mole. Okay, that takes care of grams. Grams have been canceled out. I now need to cancel that mole. And so I'm going to see the unit mole on the bottom here because I have to divide by that. All right, so I'm looking for now for the unit liters down here. This is atoms, molecules, 4 million units, and here we go, I find it. So I'm going to use the number 22.4 liters. Liters in one mole of CO2. All right, guys, your job now is to do some calculations. So let's calculate this. It's going to be 49 times 1 times 22.4, press equals, and then go divided by 44, and also divided by 1. Okay, plug that in. Give me the number, your answer, in the correct number of significant figures. All right, guys, my answer calculated out to be 24.945 liters of CO2. Now, that's what the calculator gave me. It actually even gave me more numbers. I just wrote down those. I'm going to reference the problem here. In the beginning, I see my given has two significant figures. All right, that means my answer needs to be rounded to two significant figures. The second significant figure is that guy right there. Let's round that to there. We look to the neighbor. The neighbor is nine. Nine rounds it up to a five, and my answer ends up being 25 liters of CO2. All right, guys, that wraps up our session today. Okay, I hope it was helpful. If you need any more practice, tune into the video again. Try to solve the problems on your own. Come back, watch me solve them. Okay, thanks a lot for tuning in. Take it easy.